The RSI Scorpius is the latest heavy fighter offering from Cloud Imperium. It's available now as a concierge sale, so it will be available tomorrow, so on the 21st on Friday, for uh, general public and throughout Fleet Week it'll be on sale. So it's intended for two crew, this heavy fighter, and it's adaptable with a load of firepower. It has various wing configurations. It can have them out like an X-Wing or folded down like a standard set of wings or folded back, almost looking like an Aurora. And that makes sense because RSI make this ship too. A central feature of the ship is a large remote turret that can um, sort of move around uniquely on its rail mount, either at the top of the ship or at the bottom of the ship to fire effectively at the front and rear. Now, I'm not too into that because I think it could probably fire pretty effectively, whether it's on the top or, or the bottom. I mean, you can just turn around and fire below it. But I suppose you could argue that it being able to go onto the bottom of the ship, you could get some angles, especially if you're flying in atmosphere, that sort of thing. The ship has a host of small components. Notably though, uh, two shields and two power plants. Uh, the rest of them it's just got a single small component for. Uh, weapons rise, it's four size three hard points on its wingtips, each with a size two gimbaled laser repeater as standard. And that remote turret has four size three laser repeaters. That's pretty shooty. There's also a selection of eight size two missiles, which are integrated into the front of the ship. It's on sale for $200 warbond and $220 with store credit. The warbond version comes with lifetime insurance and the non-warbond version comes with 10 years insurance to celebrate Invictus. Concierge have the ability to purchase this with a stinger paint for the ship. It's cool, it's black with a scorpion painted on it. Let me read you some stuff from the actual ship sales page. Lethal Enforcer, Combat Perfected. From RSI Celebrated Applied Innovations Division in Killian, and the same engineers that brought you some of the galaxy's most wanted war machines, comes the next evolution in heavy combat, interception, and dogfighting, the RSI Scorpius. With an adaptable bi-wing configuration and revolutionary rail-mounted remote turret, the Scorpius offers unprecedented fire coverage, allowing for both defensive and assault-minded applications. Fully endorsed by the UE Navy, and with glowing reports from the Reckless and 999th Test Squadron and civilian Defense Force, the Scorpius is the ultimate enforcer, and it's the perfect complement to any battle-ready fleet looking to make its enemies fear the sting of justice. Experimental Turret. This remotely operated rail-mounted turret sports size 3 repeaters and can be configured for offensive or defensive use. The convertible nature of the turret also offers unprecedented range and coverage in dogfights and combat scenarios. A quartet of size 2 laser repeaters and 8 size 2 missiles as well round out the Scorpius's formidable weapons package making it one of the most heavily armed fighters in its class. So you've got to remember though that that second um, player, that co-pilot, is going to be operating that turret. And that's one of the downsides with these sort of heavy fighters. Um, it's When it's brawling, if you're fighting a Sabre or a Hornet, they're going to have some uh, advantages just being in a single-seater ship and being able to bring all the weapons to bear just with one pilot. In fact, if they have the same amount of manpower, they can have two ships versus your one. So um, there is some balance there. However, the ship does appear to be quite fast. Convertible frame with two distinct wing configurations, the Scorpius is built to maximize efficiency and cruising speed and combat maneuverability proficiency while flying and to minimize the profile when landed. It is supposed to be able to keep up with the ship's half of its size, so it'll be interesting to see how maneuverable it actually is because it does look a little bit like a bit of power creep here. Does it make the hurricane just entirely redundant? Does it outclass it? Possibly. And we'll have to sort of wait and see. There will be downsides. Maybe there'll be some very specific scenarios this is great for uh, and that the hurricane is also good for. Um, Size-wise, it's 24.5 meters long, 33 meters wide, 13 meters high. Obviously, um, that's with its wings out. You are going to require that other crew person though to make the ship viable otherwise as i said you might as well run one of the medium fighters like the saber or the super hornet much better at brawling in my opinion just for a single person the ship will be available to look at during fleet week on the rsi day and available for sale uh, from tomorrow the 21st i believe onwards um yeah for the whole of fleet week so i'm looking forward to it i want to see it on the expo hall floor um for sure um 200 dollars and um, from $200 at least is not too bad. It's sort of like within that expected range. But I'm interested to know what you think. Do you think it sort of overpowers other heavy fighters and makes the hurricane redundant? Do you love this heavy fighter? Do you prefer single-seater? 
medium fighters like the Super Hornet and the Saber. Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Oh, what's this? I just found all your search history online. You filthy boy, buying spaceships and going on ship hub. Zin, show a picture of a, like a sexy ship or something. You should have used NordVPN. It's a VPN, obviously, and it has my seal of approval because I chill for them. Use the links below to get a discount and help protect your data, identity, privacy, and to help with online accessibility. Every month we have a ship giveaway for May. It's for a Crusader Hercules Starlifter. It's a big boy cargo and ground vehicle transport ship that you can expect to be added to the game by the end of the month. Just comment on any of my videos made during the month to be in for a chance of winning that. Thank you so much to my channel members who have pressed the join button below my videos and my Patreons as well. Going the extra mile really, really helps the channel. Say thanks for helping the channels in. Thanks for helping the channels in. Consider becoming a channel member or Patreon as well, and maybe you'll get some poorly photoshopped naughty spaceship shots. Oh, saucy. Thanks for watching and all your support. <laughs>